Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about the holidays in AFib. Christmas is right around the corner. New Year's is right around the corner. So how do the holidays actually affect a person's atrial fibrillation or potentially increase a person's risk for getting episodes of AFib? There are a variety of ways in which the holidays can affect a person's a AFib. Number one would be the increased stress of the holidays. The holidays can certainly increase a person's stress. Um, they can come from a variety of reasons, whether it be the stress of having some family get-togethers, uh, the stress of having to go out and buy presents or feeling responsible for other people, or also the stress of traveling. You know, all of those things can cause uh, stress, which then affect your body in other ways. You know, sometimes people eat less healthy when they're stressed. There may be more alcohol involved when you're stressed, or your sleep habits may be affected when you're when you're stressed. You may not be sleeping as much, and all of those can potentially trigger an episode of of atrial fibrillation. In addition, special acknowledgement with people who are traveling for the holidays. You know holidays, traveling, going to the airport can be a very stressful experience. Also, you may be traveling at odd hours of the daytime, either in the early morning or at night, which can also affect your uh, sleep schedule as well. Um, so those are some main ways in which the holidays can affect the atrial fibrillation. But one of the most common ways that the holidays affect AFib is alcohol. Uh, it's such a common thing that it has its own name. It's called holiday heart syndrome, which was first described back in the 1970s when doctors were realizing people were showing up to the hospital and to the emergency rooms and getting more episodes of AFib over holiday weekends. And a lot of that was attributed to alcohol usage and it's usually significant alcohol usage. There are several ways in which alcohol usage can affect or trigger a person to having AFib. Uh, just you know, se severe intoxication, you know, that alcohol itself can have a toxicity on your heart cells and trigger episodes of AFib. But also the dehydration that comes along with uh, alcohol usage is a common trigger for AFib. Uh, and so there are several ways in which the alcohol can help trigger an episode of AFib. So what are my tips to you during this holiday season? Uh, one would be to minimize stress as best as possible to maintain your sleep schedule as, as best as possible, uh, and three, try to minimize alcohol usage as best as possible, and especially if you're going to choose to drink some alcohol, please balance it out with some water to try to minimize that dehydration, which is, can be a very common trigger for atrial fibrillation for people who have a history of it. But hopefully with these tips, you can have a nice, happy, and holiday, happy holiday season. And from my family to yours, I hope you have a holiday, happy holiday season and a Merry Christmas. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.